Let's go over how to create an HTML report in PowerShell. For creating HTML reports, some basic knowledge of HTML may be helpful to have. Today, I'm going to show you a simple example using services. Let's go ahead and use get service to get the bits service. We have the bits service, but I want to pick the properties that I want to display in my report. So I'm going to select the name, display name, start type, and status. Okay, so now that we have that, how do we turn that into HTML for a report? To do that, I'm going to use the convert to HTML commandlet. Convert to HTML has a few parameters we can use to help us build a report. First, I'm going to use the as parameter. Here, we will specify if we want the output to be displayed as a list or a table. I'm going to choose table. Now let's take a look at what we get for output. We now have our output formatted as HTML. Convert to HTML gives us all the elements needed for an HTML page like head, title, body, etc. Now what if we don't want to output an entire HTML page but rather just a section of HTML which we can combine with more HTML to build a report? We can use the fragment parameter for that. Now you can see that we still have output formatted in HTML but we only have a table element, no header or body elements. That will come in handy later. Now let's go ahead and store that HTML into a variable called HTML. Now I'm going to output that HTML to a file and open it in my browser. Here we have our HTML page with our table we just created. It seems to be missing something, so let's go back to the ISE. One of the other parameters we can use with convert to HTML is pre-content. Pre-content is used to specify some content you wish to appear immediately before the HTML fragment you are creating. Here I want to put a heading with the name of the service that we are displaying. This is where some HTML knowledge may come in handy. Now let's run this code again. Looks a little better with the heading, I think. In my next example, I'm going to expand on this by using an array to store my HTML fragments. Here, I'm creating a blank array, then I'm using plus equals to append the same code from my last example to that array. Next, I'm going to append HTML for the WinRM service using the same method. Except here, I'm going to add another parameter called postContent. You can probably assume that this will do the opposite of pre-content. Instead of being added right before this fragment, it will be added right after the fragment. Here I'm just adding some italicized text to the end. Then I will output our HTML to a file and open it in my browser. Now we have both services displayed on a web page. And here you can see my post content at the end. Now let's take what we've learned and apply it to a more advanced example. Here, I'm creating my blank HTML array and storing the computer name as a heading using the h1 tag. Then, I'm going to get the services on the computer, group them by start type, and sort them by their name. Let's take a look at what this looks like. This gives us a grouped list of services by the start type, automatic, disabled, and manual. Next, I'm going to use for each to go through each start type and services. Then I'm going to use plus equals to append the list of services for that start type converted to HTML. I'm formatting this as a table fragment and for the pre-content I'm using a variable for the name of the start type in an h2 tag. When the for each loop ends I'm now going to append the user who ran this and the date to the HTML in italics. Finally I'm going to use convert to HTML to create my HTML page but this time I'm doing it a little different. Since I don't want just an HTML fragment here, I'm going to use the title parameter to set the title of my page, and I'm also going to pass my HTML array to the body parameter. This will build us a full HTML page, which we can output to a file or send as a body of an email. In this case, I'm going to pipe to outfile to create my services to HTML file. Now let's run this code. I now have a page titled services with my computer name as the title. 
Then I have tables with all my services that are automatic, disabled, and manual. And finally, at the bottom of the page, who ran the report and when the report was run. To learn more about this, I encourage you to explore the convert to HTML commandlet some more and experiment with its parameters. And that is how to create an HTML report with PowerShell.